Is this thing Mababo on? I've never done this thing before. It's all good and ready to go. We don't need to introduce ourselves. You guys know who we are. Um, we are going to go to every single fast food place that we know of that has a nugget, a chicken nugget to be exact, and we're gonna like rank every single one and put them against each other. I'm excited to try so many nugs today. Previously, we tried every single fish sandwich, which is oh, yeah, disgusting good. how much fish we ate that day. I actually felt gross. Lucas tried every single fry, and now I'm gonna try every single chicken nugget because it has never been done before. JK, some people have obviously done it, but you know, the internet's full of stolen ideas. Right? No one's done it before. First of all, we're gonna go to McDonald's, which we've already tried, but we're gonna try it again for this video. And should we make it a rule that we can't dip it in sauces? Oh, the sauces can add so much. So we have to have them bare. No lubricant today. Raw. <laughs> Let's go. It's good to start with this one because it's the most basic. Everyone knows it. It's a classic. Yup, it is. When I think of the McNugget, I think of fake chicken. So, um. Oh yeah, it really yeah. doesn't taste like chicken at all. Do, do, do. Wait, a four piece is two dollars though. So 50 cents a nugget. Like I obviously that's cheap, but I thought it would be cheaper. I know, same, like I'm a little bit mad. Um, can I just get a four piece McNugget and then can I get a Diet Coke? Four piece nugget and love Diet Coke? Yeah, Have thank you, you too. Because he has like five. What do I do? What do I do? Even though he's a billionaire. Should I just go back? Wait, can he fit? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We got the, um, Full piece chicken nugget. Never in my life since I was two years old have I got a full piece chicken nugget before. Like, oh yeah, I mean, you're getting twenties at this age. <sighs> so good. I love that these chicken nuggets have like four different um, looks. Really? Yeah, there's oh, like there are. there's like four different ones apparently. I don't know. Because there's like the are. circle, like the one that sort of has like a nose in a way, like dinosaur. -ish. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, pointy. Cheers to this. No dipping sauces either. Like, this is how food should taste. This is the food of the future, is the thing. I don't know. Even though they don't taste like chicken, really, like, I love it. I would be fooled if someone said, these are fish nuggets. I'd believe it. Because it's oh, like, yeah. what am I tasting? I have no idea. Yeah, I'm going to have to go on with the last one. Okay, that looks gross. Have you guys realized that after you eat so much salty processed food, you, you... You lose some of your taste buds for a little bit. <laughs> like, for example, I feel like w when we're at the fourth restaurant, I'm not gonna be able to taste as good because, like, some I don't know how it works, but my oh, yeah. taste buds kind of burns off. Yeah. But McDonald's, like, I can understand why they're the top dog because it is the most inoffensive nugget. Anyone would like it. It's not too spicy, not too much seasoning. Like, it will just please all audiences. A like Katy Perry song, Roar, pleases everyone. I, to me, it does. It's a, it, I like the song, but it's not my favorite song by whole. This is definitely, I'm assuming, gonna be high on the ranking. Next up, we're going to Chick-fil-A, and we're, we're going to Chick-fil-A in its Pride Month, but you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just so ignore that fact. <laughs> why, are you, why are you making us go there? Pretend to be straight for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and we will do five. Perfect. What else can I get for you? And then that's it, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. This smells more greasy than McDonald's. This smells like we just went to the fair and we picked up a bag. Oh, that smells like grease. I know, like funnel cake. I swear it usually doesn't smell like that. Why are is it? The whole box is more wet. What happened today? You know, they're just a wet company. <gasps> no antibiotics. Cooked freshly. Okay. Let's dig in. Oh, they're so hot. Damn, babe. <laughs> <laughs> right away, you just get actual chicken vibes, which is kind of weird. Yeah, so I've had these before, and like, they are actual chicken. I know, it's just weird. It's I'm not used to that. When you look <laughs> at the guts, it's real chicken. So, mm. um, that's kind of cool. This compared to a McNugget is so different. It's honestly weird having them in the same category. I feel like this doesn't even mm. belong in the same category as a McNugget. Okay, I'm just gonna let you guys know it's really hard editing this video because I absolutely despise when people say Mick before a word. For example, how we said McNugget, that makes you wanna call up into a ball. It's so disgusting to me. I don't know why. I haven't learned why yet, but it's gross to me. So the McNugget at McDonald's tastes 
so many seasonings. Well, this just tastes kind of basic in a way. It is very good. It tastes <laughs> like chicken ramen noodles. They put that flavor mm. on top. For sure. They're going for a whole different vibe than McNugget. Yeah, these are obviously really good. I feel like they, mm, I actually don't know which one's butter at this point. I changed my mind. I don't know. I'm wishy-washy. Even though these are more high quality, no antibiotics or whatever, and they taste more real, I almost think I like McNuggets better. You'd rather be fake than real. Yeah, they just taste better. There's a small... <gasps> the size comparison, though. They are little baby nuggets. It's also crazy because these ones seem like you, you could literally get an, get an infinite amount of shapes. Oh, yeah. You might just cut it like out and it's random. Why don't they come in uniform shapes like McDonald's? A little bit too real. <laughs> Next up, we're going to Borgo King, which I actually don't know if I've ever had these. I, I don't know. I must have at some point, but I don't remember them at all. I've had their chicken fingers. Oh, the chicken fries. Um, we'll just get a four piece and that's it. My guess with Borgo King is they're gonna be like McDonald's vibe. Like obviously they're not like fully real. Like pretty much a replica of McDonald's. What will be different though? That's what I'm like curious about. I feel like they, they wanna stand out for McDonald's so the flavor will be like different spices incorporated. I for a crown. Oh, can we get a crown? Is that okay? Do you guys have those? Okay. Here's that for you. Hello. You I mean, thank you. Thank you. All right. Why did I say hello? I think I glitched there. I really want the crown because, um, not to get emotional, but I've never felt like a king. Really? No, I've always just felt like I'm a smile person. No, put it on. Wow. Sit the fuck down. <laughs> oh yeah, kings are like dictators. It's actually, really No, bad. actually, yeah, I don't want to be a king because that's horrible, but I'm still gonna wear it. Can I just smell the bag? Because honestly, like, yeah. you know how McDonald's had a classic smell? Yeah, I don't recognize that. Wait, do, um, does Bogo King have spicy nuggets? They have at some point. Because if we're being honest, spi spicy nuggets are better than normal nuggets. Yeah. Oh, so this is the first place where it comes in a bag. Oh, oh. I don't know what you'd call it. They saved money on the packaging. <gasps> and they said the ultimate sidekick. I love how they're treating this as a side and not the main course. Oh, yeah, because a four piece is a side. Let's, let's be real. They are the same shape as McDonald's. I know, the same factory maybe? It looks like the breading's different. Oh, okay. I think they're gonna be good. Wait. Actually, really good. Dare I say, it's better than McDonald's. If I was gonna upgrade a McNugget, it would be into this. This is good. It's better than a McNugget, but I'm not even trying to be funny, but the chicken is way more spongy. Like, more fake. Also, Have you thinner. noticed that? It's thinner. Yeah, it's way thinner. And it's not as crispy. It's kind of soggy in a way. Yeah. Like, you can tell it's in the same family as a McNugget. But they have different personalities. Different astrology signs. This one's giving us very Aquarius vibes. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, like, Cancer. The, the Burger King was good. I don't want to spoil anything, but it's not going to be at the top. <laughs> oh! I mean, we were having differing oh, opinions. Okay. I'm just saying like, it's good, but I still would, I'm gonna just take back what I kind of was veering towards earlier. I would still rather have a McNugget, but that's a good thing to have also. Okay. I'm sweating. Next on the list is Sonic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Sonic has, uh, Sonic has popcorn chicken. So originally I wouldn't even have included this, but all these other YouTubers and blogs that did this exact same thing included popcorn chicken. So, I mean, technically the Chick-fil-A nugget felt like popcorn chicken to me. Yeah, and then also probably so many people debate about like, what's the difference of any of this shit? All the difference is shapes. Yeah, that's a thing. But let's hit Sonic. Yeah, the Sonic is right by a Planned Parenthood if anyone was wondering. What are you wondering? Can I just get a small jumbo popcorn chicken on its own? On the menu, there's a corn dog. I love corn dogs. I love how it's kind of a fair. It's a carnival place. I just can't stop thinking, why are the chicken, popcorn chicken things jumbo? Oh yeah. The why? word jumbo reminds me of like, I don't know, it just is funny, Flash. Can I get the small popcorn chicken? Yep. Your total's 381. Who's ringing the doorbell? Thank you. I just gotta say, there's so many noises going on in there. Yeah, it seems so chaotic. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. We've secured the bag. <laughs> sister. <laughs> sister, sister. Isn't that a song? Yep. Why are we unbuckling? 
<laughs> I had to unbuckle because I wanted my belly hanging. Oh yeah, I feel like I'm too constricted about buckled. Let me do a smell. Uh, it smells just like Burger King. Same manufacturer. They gave us, what? They gave us a bubble mix. Ew. They automatically are getting a high ranking. They gave I us like ketchup, they... we didn't even ask for ketchup. Oh, okay, some goodies thrown in. I'm adding salt to mine. <laughs> <laughs> you want it even more salty? <laughs> oh. Okay. They are a very different aesthetic. You can tell why it's called a popcorn chicken because it is, it's different. These are like the Chick-fil-A nuggets, like you said earlier. Yeah, more frozen food version. Chills. Mm, it's like tough. Ew, mine wasn't like that. It's good, it's like very much like chicken tender. So on the Kinsley scale, it's like sexual orientation. On this chicken nugget scale, this is leaning towards more the Chick-fil-A energy. It looks kind of real. A yeah. little bit. It tastes very frozen foodish though. No hate. If I ever eat at Sonic, I would never order this. I just got a weird flavor from mine. Each one tastes different. <laughs> that one tasted like it had a little bit of freezer one. It's good though. Like we can't deny um, it's good, but it's I good, but, mm. I would never get this again. I I can't see a future where I get this again. For me it isn't that good to be honest. I'm just gonna go out on the stand. <laughs> I still think it's good though. I think, I don't, I don't like it. I, no, I think I know what you're experiencing. experiencing. All I taste is, like I don't taste any chicken. It's like that one meme, you know, like pretty go wax in and you just want to hate because they're pretty. <laughs> like you just want to no, hate because they're better me, than you. I would appreciate it if this, if this tasted good. I'm not trying to, I'm not jealous. Of but the if they didn't look so pretty, would you not be hating? If they were all grungy and indie, would you not hate them? They is are it, grungy. Is it just because they have the most Instagram followers or something? No, I, I just straight up don't like them. Okay, I wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure there wasn't any biases. Like you had, you were jealous of the look or something. There's so many dang options on the dang menu. Delete them. Dang. But you did like them. So we have to make sure your opinion's known too. Like you, you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, I enjoyed it. But as I said before, I would never get it again. So I don't yeah. know where I'm at. It's kind of like... So you obviously didn't enjoy it. No, there's so many things like that. Think about, okay, you watch a movie. <laughs> <laughs> you love the movie. You would never watch it again because it's not good enough to watch it again. Mean Girls, I'm going to keep watching it once a year for the rest of my life. With these other movies, I'm not only going to watch it once because what's the point? But usually with food, like, you'd be down to eat it again. And you don't ever want to eat it again. Oh, it's like a Pink's hot dog. Like, I would have that again. I would, but not really. I would. Take me to KFC. I can talk to my car. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every car can do that at this point. Now we're going to KFC, which stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken, and the person that owns Kentucky Fried Chicken is Colonel Sanders. I actually don't know if he owns it. Is he a real person? I think. Can I just have a small popcorn chicken? 546 at the window. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. This one so far is the most expensive. I know, luxury. But it's popcorn nuggets, so I got Yeah, know. I think they only had one size, too. Oh, they have music playing? Oh, all right. Uh -huh. Nope. All right, all right thank you. I do have to say, it might have been the most expensive, but she was the most cheerful employee we've encountered thus far. That's all I was gonna say. This KFC has the best vibes out of any of the fast food places. I know, like, it just seems like so bright, happy, cheerful, you know what I mean? Usually I'm not a fan of KFC, but today, today so might be my switcheroo for that. 100. First of all, they gave us a fork and a, a fork thing. Oh, a spork. <laughs> well, maybe you don't want to get your hands greasy. Yeah, because we're kind of fancy today. Yeah. Okay, this is big. Whoa. We're Open this together. <gasps> Whoa. Wait. Sister. Now I understand why it was five dollars. Mmm, smells good too. I'm just excited to dig in. I know, same. Do you have eyes all the different shapes? Out. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, Cause I'm fancy. So hot, just out of the oven. It doesn't even walk. So I went too early. These are so different. This is exactly what Sonic was going for. Way better. I was just about to say I was gonna be pissed if you said these. Oh, butter than Sonic, and that's basically what you said. These taste the same as Sonic, <laughs> if we're being honest. Yeah, okay, the only thing between the difference between this and Sonic is that these do taste a little bit fleshier, but not that much. To me, that tastes so much more fresh. So less dry. Since we're at KFC, I'm kind of picturing this dipped in some gravy with some mashed potatoes. Mm. Colonel knows how to do it. These are addictive. Mm. They're so good. I love how it's called popcorn, too. You bring a buck of these to the movies? That's what I was just gonna say. I'm like, I'm not waiting popcorn again if this is <laughs> 
Love. Okay, I uh, yes, I do disagree with what I said a minute ago. These are way different than Sonic. They are better than Sonic, if we're being honest. I'm glad your palate accepted that. Because I'm going to say, if these are the same as Sonic, you know, like, I'm going to be off. <laughs> and they give you a lot. There's only one size, which can be annoying if you just want a little nibble, but... This ranking's gonna be hard because these aren't even comparable to a nugget. I know, they really aren't. We're we'll gonna put these away for now and go to the next yeah, place, Yeah, but right? let's move on. You can take me to Popeyes. Oh, you said it before me. <laughs> We're going to Popeyes and I looked at their website. On their website, they don't have nuggets, but then all of these blogs say that they do have nuggets. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to find out what's actually going on there. I might be one of those people that finds a blog to read. I've never done that in my whole entire life, have you? Have I? I've never found a blog and read every single, and like, sub, and like, join the newsletter. I used whatever. to watch, I used to read on Thought Catalog, but it was a bunch of people vlogging on one website. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the camera, but if you wanna see what we're talking about in between the scenes, you can listen to our podcast. Oh yeah, we're gonna record one right now. We are at Popeyes. I'm whispering because, you know, you sometimes you have to whisper. I'm scared. <laughs> um, do you guys have chicken nuggets? I'm sorry, no, we don't. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> just, just checking. Sometimes you have to accept failure to move on. Yeah, you have to get rejected at some point. And I knew all those blacks were lying. I know, I why do they lie? Were lying. Why do they lie? What is the point? Like, what do they gain from it? Is That's it what I don't get. Why do they, what do they get from leading people on into thinking something exists when it doesn't? Isn't it just for their own satisfaction? Because they, they, they know that people like us are doing it and we're mad and they love how we're mad I about know, it. making you mad is my special, specialty. Yeah, like the, yeah, like that song. The Flo Millie remix. That aside, we're going to Dairy Queen, which has these new rotisserie chicken <laughs> bites, which, okay. Why are they advertising as rotisserie chicken bites? I mean, I don't, I just don't get it. I don't. Yeah, it sounds not, it sounds kind of gross to me, but I'm not gonna let that cloud my judgment. Let's see. <gasps> I'm gonna just get six. Did you want a drink with that? No, thank you. That'll be $7.21. All right, thank you. We noticed this in the fish video. Did you hear that price? Oh, how much was it? Seven twenty-one for not even a combo for chicken bites on their own. I know Dairy Queen prices the products high. I don't understand it because when I look at Dairy Queen, it looks like Burger King. It is a little bit fancier, but yeah, I get what you mean. Like it is fast food at the end of the day. She just did this with the blizzard. The oh, blizzard. the classic flip. That's why they can charge so much. Cause the ice cream so thick. Yeah, has concrete in it. Thick equals money at the end of the day. They knew that from the beginning. I know. They didn't need those Instagram bodies to tell them. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Have a good day. Ooh, this is like the biggest box we've seen today. Okay. This is the very first one to not come in a bag. That's an interesting thing to note, guys. I know, it just, it screams luxury. It weighs $7. They also gave us a fourth because they know that we're kind of high class, you know? <gasps> they gave us Shut a meal. Up. Wait, for free? They gave us a meal. Oh, maybe we paid for the meal. That's why it was $7. That makes more sense. Oh, so the chicken bites on their own are like puny. <laughs> it has a breading on it, but it's very thin. These look like fancy chicken nuggets. I know, it feels like something that you get at like Mastro Steakhouse. This is like straight up chicken. It tastes like Chick-fil-A, but healthier. It is good though, like it's high quality. Like I, it is high quality. It's high quality. <laughs> so they're trying to stand out by doing the healthy route. Well, with these chicken bites, when we ordered them, in the photo, it showed them on top of a salad. Ew. <laughs> Ew. It just tastes like a piece of grilled chicken. A little bit better, I gotta admit. These are very much giving, I can make it at home. Like, you could mm. grill a chicken bust and add some seasoning and That's this would true. be it. Ew. I see what they were trying to do though. They're like, let's do everything a little bit different. Let's add some health. We wanted something that would make <laughs> nugget like. We'll just leave it at that. We'll just leave yeah. it at that. The last place that we're going to is Wendy's and even though I wanna get the spicy nuggets, we will get the normal. I have very fond memories of Wendy's nuggets, so I'm excited to go back. Cause I, I just remember getting Frosties, dipping the nuggets in the Frosty. Like I have very sensual memories of that. Oh, download it, download the app and get free nuggets. Should we do it? Do it. Wait, should we? Do it. 
You have enough time? Nah. Oh, no, wow. I do have enough time, but... Not enough right now, though. <laughs> we're, we're, I do, though. We're in a rush. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, can we just get a four-piece of regular nuggets? Four-piece regular nuggets? What sauce? Um, no thanks, we don't need any. 185, a very steep decline in price from Dairy Queen. Yeah, that's six dollars less basically. We charge an extra 25 cents for dipping sauce, extra dipping sauce. Okay, at least they're upfront about it, but I do get why they have to do that because some people might take it to a new level or they get like 50. Oh yeah, but ah, uh, it seems stingy. You do have to charge people though, you know how annoying people are these days. Like those those extreme couponers that probably bring them home, you know? I know, you would say free dipping sauce, like we just give you however many you want, but then someone would say I want 80 and then you'd be like, really? And they'd be like, well you said it was free. It's like, Oh my god, you ruined it for everyone. Shut you literally, the F up. you ruined it for everyone. I know. Hello. Can I have a good day? You too. It came in a bag. It's really like, this is like one dollar worth of food. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, all the nuggets fall at the bottom of the bag. That's fine. It came in a little briefcase. Here. It's the same as McDonald's, it has the same like uh, shapes. Oh, yes. Oh, I can just tell them in a little bit. I wasn't expecting this. I do like it. It's like what I look for in a nugget. It has a flavor that like the other girls don't have. To me, it tastes like a bucket of oil. And not in a good way. Doesn't it taste really oily? I mean, obviously all these are unhealthy, but like it is really oily. I kind of like that. Because imagine that dipped in a frosty. Oh, that, that for sure would be good. These are the last chicken nuggets. So now it's time to rank. And we're going to rank them together. I feel like yeah, we can come to we're going to prove that... Two people that disagree can come together. Yeah, we had very... Or not. It's just annoying because we had completely different opinions the whole time, but I'll just do whatever you say. It's no, your, it's we're, your gonna, video. we're gonna let both of our opinions be shown. It's your video. Both of our opinions are gonna be shown. <laughs> we went to seven different places, guys. And this has been like a three hour experience. What was the worst? Mm -hmm. This is hard. Sonic. Oh, duh. Sonic, Sonic is sucked. moving to the bottom. It's already out. It sucked. That's last in place. And next up, I would say Burger King. This was not, it was good, but it wasn't what it should have been. <gasps> oh, where should we do the rotisserie bites? Cause girl, what are you doing? Those should be a, I kind of agree with yeah, you. Like, yeah, like girl. We are basing this off chicken nuggets. It's supposed to be fried. It's supposed to be unhealthy and greasy. Girl, we don't want that. I know it's too, It's it feels healthy. Whether it's healthy or not, it feels healthy. Are you trying to be Miss America and try to win the bikini contest? Cause I'm not. That's second to last. To me, I'm thinking either Burger King or Wendy's. But are you not okay. thinking that? I Burger King's was definitely worse than Wendy's. Oh, let's do Burger King then. Oh, and then Wendy's. You know, it's not nothing too special, but it yeah. does have a place in my heart. It obviously is good, but it's not too good. Yeah, I, I haven't had it in six years, and I never thought about them, so it must not be that good. Now we get like the holy trifecta. Yeah, KFC, get it. KFC, out. it's like it's kind of boring on a yeah. certain point. <gasps> so we go back to the first two. We didn't even have to watch the rest. McDonald's and Chick Fil A. This is hard because like they're so different. I honestly think. McDonald's should win. Yeah, they're iconic, and Chick-fil-A is homophobic. Yeah, so that makes them a downgrade anyway. Yeah, and also just like, Chick-fil-A, it's just like, why are they so small? We want fake shit, we don't want the also, real shit. Also, they're not, they aren't serving anything different. Like, their Chick-fil-A's chicken nugget is just a chicken tender cut up smaller. A McDonald's McNugget is a lot different from a McDonald's chicken tender. So McDonald's won and Sonic got in last place, if that tells you anything. Fight us in the comments and fight other people in the comments. Have have intense debates. This ending is predictable though. Like I could have guessed this. I think a lot of people might have thought we might hate on McDonald's because it's so basic. That's true. But then again, basic sometimes wins. Congratulations, McDonald's. Crowd pleaser. Into Sonic. Boom! Yeah, literally shut down your business. Just kidding. We like everything else. Like I'm sure the corn dog would have slapped. We're gonna, we're gonna dash out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Goodbye, subscribe to both of us.